Good morning. We have some quiet weather to start off our Thursday. Looking nice and clear on the radar and satellite picture here in the valley. And beyond, we'll have a really nice morning. In fact, tri-state area, just a couple of clouds, and that is it to start off this Thursday. So looking really good here in the valley. Across the country, most of us on the quiet side, there are some rain showers across New England and the Mid-Atlantic, back into the, the Oklahoma and Texas area, and then our next system starting to see some rain showers out west over toward into the Rockies. And then, of course, we've had a lot of tropical moisture in the east. There's still some rain uh, that is associated with the tropical system uh, that was off the Atlantic. And we've got a new system uh, that was named. This is her, uh, her mean, I believe, is how we're pronouncing it. Uh, it's now a tropical storm with winds, sustained winds at 60 miles per hour. And you can see the track of this in the Gulf heading toward the Panhandle, the big bend of uh, Florida here. And it, at least according to the National Hurricane Center, expected to be a Category 1 hurricane when it does make landfall. And this would be around Friday, it looks like, in the overnight hours, so late tonight and into the early part of the day uh, tomorrow. So low-end hurricane, looks like there's already quite a bit of rain associated with it there. And then it's set to track right along the east coast, too. So if you have some plans to head in that direction for the holiday weekend, definitely want to keep an eye on things. If you're heading to Hawaii, we also have a concern about a big uh, hurricane. This is Lester, uh, currently a Category 2 storm. It is still on track to reach Hawaii, but it's going to take several days before it does so uh, and uh, may uh, weaken a bit before it gets there if it can maintains that current track. So active weather in the tropics here in the valley, much quieter. We're at 58 degrees in Fargo and in Grand Forks, a much cooler 44 in Bemidji. That's much cooler than any other location here in the valley. In fact, some places starting off our day in the 60s, 61 in Fergus Falls. The air is calm in the Bemidji area and in other places as well. That's allowed our temperatures to dip there. And that's also where you have visibility issues. We've got a mile and a half visibility uh, being reported in Bemidji right now. So here's a look at our hour by hour planner. Expect to see some really nice conditions today. By the noon hour, we're going to be into the 60s and low 70s, similar to yesterday with some sunshine and a few areas where we have some clouds. Uh, by the afternoon into the 70s to some low to mid 80s for your afternoon temperatures. That kind of buzzed by our warmest temperatures of the day, but looking at some 80s in eastern North Dakota over in Minnesota, slightly cooler into the 70s to some low 80s. The wind does pick up though. We're going to start to see it make a more southeasterly directional change. And in addition to that, it'll start picking up and going into the teens here uh, for the afternoon hours today and into tonight as well. So that's going to start drawing in that southern, that southerly air. And of course, that usually has a little bit more moisture in it. It's bringing in that Gulf moisture and warmer temperatures as well. So overnight tonight, we're going to see our temperatures hold up. We're going to be more into the uh, 50s and 60s rather than 40s and 50s. And the wind will remain on the brisk side for your Friday. Expect to see sunny skies. Breezy conditions, temperatures into the 60s and low 70s around lunchtime. And then into the afternoon hours, working our way well into the 80s in a lot of spots out ahead of our next system. And breezy again, wind out of the south into the 20s to around 30 miles per hour. We'll see a few more passing clouds during the day and Friday as well uh, for the valley. So here's a look at our planner. We've got some, a couple of nice days still. Uh, one for today, 82 degrees, looking really pleasant for Friday. Windy but sunny, and then we'll see those clouds kick in. 84 degrees, your high. This weekend, of course, we've been talking about this. Chances for some rain and thunder. Right now, it looks like it's delaying a little bit. So Saturday, we may end up getting a, a good portion of the day in, at least, where we're not dealing with any rain or thunder showers. Then into Sunday, some scattered showers and storms, and that does continue into Labor Day. And notice these temperatures moving from around 80 degrees on Saturday. By the time we end the holiday weekend on Monday, we'll be in the low 70s with some chances for some thunder showers. And that active weather sticks around uh, throughout the week next week. And earlier, Kyle mentioned back to school for our Minnesota students. Looks like Tuesday, maybe slightly active, just one or two showers or storms. And a little cooler, too, feeling more like fall. Makes it easier to go back to school, though. Yes. Yeah, you're not sad about missing out on the pool when it's not very warm out. Exactly. Thank you, Lisa. Back to school time means more papers, shoes, and backpacks in your home. We'll help you get organized next.